uh, hi everyone welcome back so in this video in the previous video we have created uh, basic rest apis now in this video we will just test them and we will make them more uh, bulletproof i mean to say i mean all different kind of validations we can add uh, send different kind of http status code and messages okay so we have created these basic apis uh, and we can also test them so like uh, http get put post it should be able to give us all the users before that we can create some this is the json payload right test test one test two and when i hit http get i should be able to get all these that is fine we can also hit http delete for this particular email id right this is deleted and we have only two remainings right and we can also do the get now get should give us the empty array right nothing so we can let a little bit fix this so this is your our get user method and what we are doing is we are passing email and based on email we are doing filtering what if if user is not there right so here we will do const users or you can see user data so it is a filter method it should give us an array so we can just check if user data is there or array dot is array I mean there are different ways of doing it you can just choose any of your way and user data dot length if this is greater than zero I mean it should be obviously greater than zero if user is found then you can return the user data of index zero otherwise what you can do is you can just throw new uh, not found exception I think this is fine right so we are just checking for that particular email id and if user not found we will just throw an exception not found 404 user not found uh, similarly the delete user you can also do the same kind of mechanism here delete user if first of all you can do is first you can try to find that user existing array or not with the same email id if not then you can just do a not found exception otherwise you can go ahead so these are just a basic validation now just for testing you can just see this you can say 404 user not found right so this is a custom validation you have placed at the controller level i mean at the service level from the service you are throwing this exception it is reaching to the controller and directly it is going back to your postman to the client right get user so this is how what we have done is we created a basic user service which is having the empty array initially users and now we are just playing around with this array by doing a push pop uh, splice you can say or delete a particular index filtering and just returning the data right so add users now the next thing what you can do is think of is validating the data before inserting currently what I'm doing is there is no validation I can even post this data to my user API right it's going fine there is no validation even you can just send something empty because I know that there is no any validation exists so it is accepting the empty object and when you do the get it will also give us that data you can see because there is no validation so how can we impose a validation on a particular request body that it must have those required things so we will introduce a data transfer object for that that we will cover in the next video but before that what all we have covered let's do a quick recap so next yes uh, works on all these different building blocks services controllers and wherever is needed you always create a model and interface like user controller is dealing with user entity or user object so you are playing with user everywhere you returning user array user object user object 
and here again user array so create an appropriate interface so that same interface can be shared with your controller and services right here i have services all the different different methods and with the help of this injectable annotation uh, our nest.js will consider it as an injectable service and we are able to do the dependency injection of this service in this particular module now coming back to this provider thing if you wanted to use this service somewhere else also in that case you have to export this So if you are just defining the service in the provider, that means this service is local to this particular module. When you export it, it means this can be used in any other module also. For that module, you just need to define the dependency of this user module there. Okay, just a simple example. I'm defining the dependency of uh, user module in the app module. There is a root module, obviously, but in app controller you will still not be able to access user service until unless you are explicitly exporting the user service from here this line is saying that if you wanted to use user service just import this user module there and this user service is available there this is how dependency injection works i mean providers you define services whatever service you wanted to export and reuse or like a shared service you put that in the exports so that other modules can consume those services same as this user controller is doing by just doing a dependency injection okay so that's it guys now in the next video let's create a data transfer object and we will try to add custom validations on this apis